to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Good morning, YouTube. Happy Friday. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful start to your Friday. Um, I, today's video is basically just gonna be kind of catching you up on life. What's new? I feel like it's been a while since we chatted and I know Vlogmas was kind of fast and furious. Vlogmas is always kind of crazy because it's a lot of work. So hopefully you did enjoy the Vlogmas videos. But one, first things first, Christmas decorations are down. We do still have our lights up here <laughs> because those were a lot of work to put up for Matt. And per my request, we're gonna leave them up all year. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're gonna leave them up all year. He wanted to trade them out with white lights, but I like the colored light look. Like it looks, it looks nice, it's fun, it's festive. But I also, I don't think it's like super Christmassy because we leave them on at night while we're hanging out or we're playing games or watching Netflix. But other than that, sadly, all the Christmas decorations are gone. So, I mean, this, another reason for this video is we need help. <laughs> so we've got this little dining table, which is also a new addition. Um, we put this out whenever we had our Christmas parties. I think I showed it in Vlogmas, but this is just our cute little dining table because we have another table that my parents had given to us whenever they got a new table, but it's too big. Like it's big and heavy and got these massive heavy chairs. It's really nice. We've got it in storage, but it would take up this whole area. And so it would even be hard to walk through here because of how just big the table is. So while we're figuring that out, we've got this little table. It's actually from Matt's grandma. She had it in the um, assisted living that she was at whenever she was in San Marcos. So it's kind of nice to have her little table with us. And Eva sits at it too. She eats at it. She's got her little booster seat and she sits with her plate and plays with her toys and it's just really cute. So we have little family dinners now, breakfast, breakfast dishes, but completely bare wall. So what should we do with this wall? Originally we were gonna put that picture up there, but it's staying there because it looks nice there. We'll get there in a second. But I have no idea what to do with this big empty wall space. Obviously the table can move to and fro. Um, I don't know if maybe like some decorative shot, I don't know. So anybody that knows design and spaces, what would you suggest to go here? Like shelves, table, storage? I don't know. So please let us know. Um, got these picture frames at Target yesterday. These are gonna go, I think I'm gonna do one of each here. Fire extinguishers are obviously gonna move somewhere else. But um, one of each here, and then the other two are gonna go on this entryway table right here. This is our nice picture. And then I picked up a lamp at Target yesterday, which gives it a nice little homey feel whenever you turn it on. I don't know, it just, it's the little things. I turned it on last night and I was like, oh, it looks like a little, like a little entryway table, you know, like it, like an actual house. This is one of the, I don't know if anybody else has these little drawers and things that have the most random stuff that you just don't know what to do with. Um, I'm just waiting to do things with them but I'm, this is gonna move. Um, so this is just kind of, you come in, put the keys down. I'm gonna put those picture frames there. This is a little photo tile of me and Eva that I think I'm gonna put in her room. Uh, so this is our entryway table. We move the shoe rack back here. Eva puts toys up here. This is where her backpack goes. Shoes, obviously. So, I mean, I guess this wall is okay. It's not, it's not that bare. <laughs> it's not that wall. Um, this is another wall. What what do we do with this area? I know we designed the house, but we designed it for living. I'm not good with actual functional, I guess functional and decorative design. Um, and I told Matt that, and I think I've talked about it on the channel since day one. I'm not good with that stuff. I'm just not. Um, so if y'all have any feedback, please let us know. Eva's room, we are keeping her Christmas lights up. Ooh, well, obviously they plug in over there. 
Um, we are keeping her Christmas lights up here. We took the ornaments down, so now it's they're just white lights and it looks really cute um, at night. Try and change the lighting here. So we've got her little decorative things here. Matt hung these two paintings, which my nephew actually did for Eva. How cute are those? So he made those and they framed them to go in her room. So we hung those up. She's got her little wall of various flowery girly items. I think most of these are from her baby shower and uh, now they're decorating her room. So her room is okay. We, I do want to put in some shelves. Um, I'm thinking kind of like a floating shelf here for maybe some stuffed animals or decorative things. Um, there's a dresser on the porch out yonder that we're going to paint and put possibly in here somewhere. We're going to have to rearrange, but the idea is, is to maximize storage because she's got a ton of toys. We've also got her car, which she loves. We're still working on the driving aspect of it, but she does like to sit in it and honk the horn. Um, she doesn't drive it in the house because it goes, I think two and a half miles per hour. And it's, it's a bit hard to turn. Like the steering on it is, um, it's like, it's kind of hard to turn. And so we need a straightaway outside. <laughs> Otherwise she would be running into walls. Um, let's see what else we got. Our room is a bit of a mess. Ignore, ignore the laundry. We've got our two armoires, basically our closets. And then we also got this dresser around Christmas time. Um, I just, to be completely honest, I have not had time to organize my clothes that I have in here to figure out what's gonna go in here. We've just, everything is like on the go. That's why our channel has been sporadic because we're, we're busy and I just, I'm trying to figure out like the work-life balance while being a stay-at-home mom and trying to do things at home. Um, yeah, but I think that's about it as far as like the house updates goes. Um, the main thing is just figuring out what we're going to do with the big empty walls now that Christmas is over and we've got like all the decorations down. Um, so we're slowly working on that and making it more of a home. Um, shelves, I think, are things that we want to do possibly like some floating shelves here, but I don't know. So if you have feedback, let us know. So another thing that I have been doing is I started um, working with a trainer at our gym. And I did that because in case you don't know, I am a uh, health and fitness coach myself, and I spend my time, of course, taking care of Eva and doing things at home, but I write workout programs and I help with nutrition for my clients. And I was getting to the point where I just don't want to do it for myself anymore. And I've utilized coaches and trainers in the past. And what it does is it takes the pressure off of me of having to write my workouts, of having to adjust my macros, my calories, um, and somebody else to hold me accountable. Because I do it for other people um, and I need it for myself, especially right now. We've been working out twice a week. Obviously I didn't work out while I wasn't feeling good. And so this is our second full week back and I feel really good. So I just got back from the gym, I had a really good shoulder workout uh, with my trainer and I'm really excited to see kind of what we can do together because he's very knowledgeable about um, obviously the basics and things that I want to focus on which is more bodybuilding style and building up certain body parts and hopefully possibly competing this year but he's also very knowledgeable in the realm of um, injury prevention uh, mobility and things like that and those are things that I neglect for myself big time so we've been taking a lot of time to focus on certain areas that I'm lacking in um, areas like my shoulders this shoulder apparently for whatever reason is stronger than this one which is weird because I'm right-handed uh, this is my right hand um, but this one takes over so on things even like pull-ups 
the shoulder jacket off show you um, the shoulder tends to take over so whenever I'm doing shoulder presses or things like pull-ups this shoulder will kind of and I'm just gonna over exaggerate it so you can see it'll raise up a little higher so you can see that this shoulder will be kind of more engaged and come up higher almost like this um, so we've been focusing on areas uh, that are tight specifically my chest and then activating certain muscles that are underactive in that area to help the shoulder um, essentially engage better this one um, and keep this one from over engaging so very very good stuff um, so that's kind of new with me I just got home I'm gonna make my lunch real quick and then I'm gonna go get Eva from Matt's mom's house and then we will uh, we will see Eva and then Matt should be home so we'll check in with you in a little bit <laughs> What is happening? I came in here to see what was like, what? What's going on? A lot of like upward chin. Stop it. <laughs> I mean, if that's the way you want to look, that's fine. <laughs> this is how I look. <laughs> it doesn't matter the angles. Actually, I don't know. This angle's pretty good. See? Huh? What? <laughs> this is very MySpace. Uh, can you see it? Okay. Do it. <laughs> All right, so we, uh, well, I guess Blair got me a Xbox for Christmas. Uh, we had trouble finding it, like I think everybody else did too. Um, obviously, I don't know if, you, uh, whatever. I'm sure some of y'all play Xbox, right? And so, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep looking over you. So the Xbox One X has been gone from stores for a long time. We're just trying, hard to find. And so we finally actually found the One S, and so we just jumped on it, bought it. Uh, Blair called it a Christmas gift, which it was. And we started playing X or, uh, Halo pretty heftily. And uh, yeah, we ended up getting this deal with her dad, actually. He's like, you know what, if you find the Xbox One X, um, he'll buy the One S, because they have better internet than we do, and uh, I can get the X. And uh, literally the next day, Ooh. Oh, you can't, oh my god, you can't see it. Everything I buy is black. It's right there, with a little light on. We found the One X, and so now I'm playing, you know, with a, a little 4K high-res machine. The day that they got them in. Yeah, it was like the day they got them in. That's what I'm saying, like literally it was the next day after talking to her dad, and he offered me that deal. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'm just never gonna find it. And it was like the next day we decided to go to Target, and there it was. They had three in the back too, so I guess they just got a big shipment in or something. But. Yeah, I've been playing way too much. So getting a ton of work done, not really, a little bit. But uh, yeah, we've been playing, we, got, we both got headsets. We uh, all of a sudden have friends that want to play with us. It's weird. We have friends now. Yeah, friends. It's not just one person, it's two people. What, what's, our, what's our gamer tags? You should put them in the, the link down below. Yeah, yeah, you can do it on the screen, I guess. Yeah, mine's Maddie Cakes, eight nine. I can't remember. Gummy Blair twenty two. Yeah. I don't know if any of y'all play, but if you do, yeah. <laughs> all one of you, <laughs> jump on at us. No, but we yeah. only play Halo sometimes at night after she goes to bed. Yeah, so, so it's like we either watch Netflix or we play Halo. Well, it's daytime right now, and I'm about to jump on. Uh, well, if she doesn't start crying. You don't like your shorts? But they're cute. <laughs> Come here, look in the mirror. They fit a little like mom jeans, mom, mom jorts. All right, that's gonna wrap up our first vlog back. I know it was kind of short and sweet, but I just wanted to update y'all on kind of the house. Look at our little, our little cozy lamp over there. Um, 
I just made a little nighttime treat. Um, I've got some cream of wheat with some protein, nut butter, uh, chocolate kisses, and whipped cream because I like sweets. So I got my little snack. Matt's finishing up a work call and then we have been watching Cobra Kai on Netflix. Don't know if anybody else has watched that, but um, obviously watching Karate Kid growing up. Uh, it's pretty neat to see kind of the movie rebooted. Um, it's cheesy, but it's awesome. We've been watching it pretty much every night for the last week. So we're probably gonna finish it in a couple days. So if anybody else is a Cobra Kai fan, let us know in the comments below. But let us know what, what y'all have been up to for 2022. How was your Christmas? How was your New Year's? Uh, anything exciting? Any travel plans for everybody? Let us know in the comments below and I'll pick one at random uh, over the weekend and I'll send you a free mug. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hit the thumbs up if you did enjoy the vlog. Uh, if you want to see more, let us know in the comments below. That's going to be it. Hope you have fun out there. Have a great weekend and we will see you next week. Bye. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.